Hey everyone, Gameplay Vids 24 7 here. Welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Vince. Guys, today we are covering Time Warpers. As you all know, I do have a series currently recording Time Warpers. This game is absolutely amazing. I am online right now with one of the developers, Kenzie. So this developer is gonna be taking me through the game right now, showing me the ropes, hopefully. I'm assuming that they're gonna be absolutely like overpowered as hell. I guess we'll find out. At the moment, I can see they're just crushing anything in our way, which is awesome. I'll just quickly say hello to Kenzie here, guys, just so you know what's going on. Here Kenzie is right here with the dual pistols, apparently. Kenzie says hi. I'll ask Kenzie how long development was for Time Warpers, hey? Let's ask Kenzie how long Time Warpers was in development for. I really am actually curious about this. That's the cool thing about playing with one of the developers, dude. You can actually ask them some questions. Oh, wow, just spawn on mobs. <laughs> um, either way, I do hope that you guys do enjoy today's episode of Gaming with Vince. It is covering Time Warpers, so I do hope that, yeah, you guys do like Time Warpers. I absolutely love it. Uh, I am taking my series to online play, so if you do play Time Warpers also, you can play with me now, pretty much, dude. Uh, you just have to add me on Steam, I think. Now, Kenzie says, just over two years before releasing it to early access. Wow. There you have it, man. Two years of development on this game. It turned out amazing. All right, here we go. I think this is our horde here. Let's spawn the horde. Done. They'll just spawn the horde in. Gonna crush it straight away, man. Beautiful stuff. That is a zone 65 horde. Let's collect that pickup. Maximum damage. Oh, wow, they spawned on me. Jeez, okay, that was not intended. <laughs> awesome stuff. Can we go to the next stage? Yes, we can. Now, I did read your comments that you all posted on last night's uh, Gaming with Vince episode, guys. Thank you all so much for the fantastic support you gave the first episode. Also, we actually managed to hit 75 comments or so, which is awesome stuff. Um, I pretty much asked all you viewers out there, what was your favorite game? And you all told me your favorite games. Boy, do you guys play a lot of games. Let me just go through the list quickly. Uh, we have World of Warcraft, Time Clickers, and Time Warpers. Clicker Heroes 2 and 1, Diablo 3, Black Ops 4, Paladins, League of Legends. I think I saw Roblox and Minecraft in there as well. You guys are pretty much running the gambit on games. I know I saw uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 as well, which is awesome, of course. I really wonder how Red Dead Redemption 2 is going. I'm yet to actually play it, so maybe I will pick it up in the future. Who knows? But right now, I'm contempt here on Time Warpers just kicking ass, completely destroying anything in our way, really. Kenzie's really showing me how it's done right now. I can see that Kenzie's actually using the rocket launcher. So pretty good choice of weapon there, especially for taking down multiple mobs. Just gonna try and take these guys down quickly. Beautiful. I'll ask Kenzie, will I get the hover bike soon? I just asked, will I be unlocking the hover bike soon? Apparently I can get the hover bike battery in zone 70. So let's find out if I can get the hover bike. Cause I don't think Kenzie realizes I actually haven't got the hover bike yet. Kenzie said, yep, awesome. All right, we'll be getting the hover bike, bro. Excellent stuff. Now, as you can see, since we're online, there are actually two turrets right now, which is great. I think the turrets spawn to the amount of players in the area that you're in. So let's say there's 10 people here. There'll be 10 turrets, I'm assuming. I mean, I can only guess that, right? All in all, Kenzie said very soon. Awesome. I do have a question for you all, guys. As you know, on Gaming with Vince, the new series that I'm doing, I do like to ask questions. My new question for you viewers out there, and stop what you're doing and leave a comment. Let me know, okay? I want to know right why you play your favorite game as much as you do okay so i don't want a simple answer like oh i enjoy it that's not good enough for me right now that boss just got absolutely destroyed by the way activate the hover bike oh the hover bike's up the road apparently uh the hover bike is ready now you know it will auto drive as well as auto target trying it out apparently seven puts on the hover bike on whoa what is this the hover bike will also protect you from bugs this will be useful but it's slower than when i'm on foot Hover bike research can massively increase the speed. Okay then, uh, how do I drive this thing? I guess it, it automatically drives, didn't it say? That is very interesting. I have the hover bike for the first time ever, everyone. Okay then, bro. <laughs> Look at this. So we've got Kenzie and me on the hover bike. My turret is not aiming that well though. Let me just aim my bike a bit better here. So now my hover bike is actually driving for me here. I'm just spraying like a madman. <laughs> Look at this. No problems, dude. So I think the hover bike allows us to actually idle. So I can go to sleep and let the hover bike play for us, I'm assuming anyway. I think as soon as it beats the zone, it will start driving to the next zone, which is awesome. Now, back to my question before I was interrupted, everyone. I want you to tell me why you play your favorite game as much as you do, okay? Because I know a lot of people out there that play games uh, and they just say, oh, it's just fun. 
But I want to know what keeps you coming back, because with Clicker Heroes 2, uh, pretty much it's to always gain the highest numbers. And I think with any incremental or, you know, Clicker game, that's what you want to achieve, the highest numbers, right? So that's what keeps me coming back. I just realized me and Kenzie are on top of each other here on the hover bikes. <laughs> We're literally merging on the hover bikes, man. No problems at all. But yeah, I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comments below. I will reply to you personally, by the way. Don't be shy. So if you do want to strike up a conversation with me, uh, which I really recommend you do, I love talking to you viewers out there. Be sure to leave a comment telling me why you play the games that you do, okay? What keeps you occupied on the game or what keeps you interested in it? And it only has to be for the game you're currently playing, by the way. So this is pretty neat, LOL. <laughs> I'm just going to say, so this is pretty neat, LOL. <laughs> just ask how many bikes we can fit on the screen at once here, guys. I'm very curious, actually. I'm actually very, very curious. What happens if there's 10 people on the screen? Does, does that mean 10 bikes? I think the biggest convoy so far was 16 people. So 16 people on a bike, everyone. There you have it. Or I guess on their bikes. I'm assuming they're all together and they call it a convoy in this game. No worries, bro. Oh wow, the enemies are actually quite strong now. I didn't realize. The enemies are getting a bit stronger, man. Let me upgrade my weapon. Just upgraded my click weapon there. It's not shooting as fast, but I'm hoping it's gonna be a bit more powerful. What's this up here? Maximum damage, damage increase. There is a butterfly up there, but I cannot be bothered getting it right now. Whoa, Kenzie needs some help, I think. Where is Kenzie? Did Kenzie die? I think Kenzie just died. For real, I think Kenzie just died then. Because I just saw her disappear, so I'm assuming she died. The whole goal of today is to try and get to zone 100. Can we push 100, you think? Let's see if Kenzie has a spirit that I do trying to push 100 here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. There's a blue butterfly up there, by the way. But there's a whole bunch of bugs here as well. We should definitely try. There you go. That's the spirit I like to hear, bro. We're currently on 77. I can't see why 100 wouldn't be achievable. I mean, right now, especially with two people, we're actually doing all right, dude. I've never been this far out in Time Warpers, by the way. So, yeah, it's very, very interesting to me. I can upgrade my drone here as well. Hang on, is that another player? I think there's someone else here. That's pretty interesting. Gotta love the online modes, bro. Someone else is here. <laughs> Who is this? 995. A level 995. Wow. Okay, then. We're just going to get carried, apparently, right now, I think. <laughs> Don't leave me, 995. Where are you going? <laughs> we could have got the ultimate carry going on, then. I said I want them to carry us. <laughs> That's kind of lame. I was hoping I can get on his... Uh, his little bike there, and he can just carry us to 100. I don't think it works like that, though. All right, so I think the zone's completed. Let's bug out of here now. I think they are down to one wave per zone, so just zoom past. Oh, right, here we go. It's a boss. Where's the boss? Here's the boss. Big spider. Hello, Mr. Spider, and good night, Mr. Spider. Thank you for playing. Uh, scientists, I've detected gold on the moon and set up a swarm of drones to start harvesting. The moon teleporter is in zone 100. Will these ones attack me like crawlers? What are the chances of it happening twice? <laughs> defeat Zone 90. Awesome. So that's the next challenge, everyone. We need to try and defeat Zone 90. Should be achievable. I mean, I can't see why not, surely. At the moment, guys, it's currently 9.50 p.m. I have finished work. I'm very, very tired. I will be going to bed straight after this video, pretty much. But I thought, you know, the whole point of this series is to make sure that there's daily videos on the channel. And I want to make sure I can start building a show. And for me to do that, I need to make sure I put in the motivation and the work uh, so then you guys know I'm serious about this, which I am. Gaming with Vince, I wanted to try and make something quite big, but I'm going to need your help, all right? You've done so well in the first episode, which I'm so, like, what's the word for it? I appreciate it so much. Appreciative? Is that even a word? Appreciative? But either way, I appreciate it so much, dude, for all the support in the first episode. Be sure to leave your feedback telling me if you did, and be sure to answer my question of why you play your favorite game at the moment. What is getting you hooked and what is keeping you playing, okay? Right now with Time Warpers, I'm actually having a blast killing everything. Oh God, I just walked straight into the enemies. Better back out a bit. <laughs> All right, I'll stick with Kenzie just to be safe. Try and knock down these enemies as fast as possible. I don't want to get hit either. That's the thing. I'm yet to be hit by anything. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself, by the way. Oh, there's a big rainbow. Yep, had a couple of the rainbow waves. Nice, yes we did. That's what I was also going to ask you guys. How was your day today? Did you guys get up to much? Did you have school, work? Let me know. Uh, sadly, I did have work, as I said earlier. I mean, I just wish I could just come home uh, from work, just play YouTube all night. But, 
yeah, you can't really do that. I'll play games all night and record for YouTube, but that's not how real life works. And as you get older, you're gonna start to realize that as well. For all you guys out there that have school still, be grateful, be happy, dude. Don't waste it away either. You're gonna need your papers when you're older, I'm telling you. If it's anything like uh, how it is now, in Australia anyway, you need certificates, you need your papers to get a good job. Um, it's just how it works, dude. That's And it's just general advice anyway. Stay in school, bro. Listen, to, I sound like your mum and dad, eh? Stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, stay in school. Don't drop out. If you, if you can help it, if you don't have a real good reason or a proper reason, don't drop out for the hell of it to play Fortnite all day. Do you know what I mean? The chances of you guys becoming professional streamers on Fortnite for the people that are dropping out of school uh, is very, very slim. Let me tell you right now. Uh, and if you do make it, let me know as well because I'll uh, ask for a loan. <laughs> Either way, let's start this horde off here. Beautiful. I might actually switch to the rocket launcher now. Just because we have bigger mobs. Nice. Zone 85 completed. Maximum damage. Laser guidance unlocked. I say, boy, we are smashing this out. Me and Kenzie completely dominating right now, dude. Really no contest. With the rocket launcher as well, uh, pretty much we do get that big splash damage as well. 100 in now. No time, I guess Kenzie means. Yes, 100 in no time. Definitely. We're on 86 right now. One of the great things about Time Wolf is that I can imagine like a lot of people actually doing out there what they should do is just call your friends over, man, or like set up a LAN party and play this game. Do you know how fun that'd be? Seriously, like, I wish I had like friends that I could do that still with, like LAN parties, do you know what I mean? Like how cool would that be? You get your friends over on the weekend, you either have some beers or energy drinks or whatever the hell you want to drink, uh, eat Doritos all night and just play games. That would be the life. And I know a lot of you guys out there can probably still do that, so don't miss out on those moments, man, because you're gonna you're gonna regret it one day, I'm telling you. And Time Warp is probably one of the best games to actually do that with. It's like everyone just yelling in the same room together, all in like a big convoy, having a great time with your bloody hover bikes. Where's Kenzie going? Into a corner. Kenzie, stop backing yourself into a corner. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love this playstyle. Kenzie plays exactly like I do, just sporadic and jumping everywhere. That's the only way to play this game, for real. So we're about to defeat zone 90 anyway in about probably two minutes. I'm just wondering what we're actually going to achieve from being zone 90. I know the moon teleporter is on zone 100, so I'm quite curious to see why the game set a checkpoint here at 90. I guess we'll find out in a second either way. Here we go, boss time everyone, zone 90 boss. Let's do this. And the boss is defeated instantly. Boy, playing with two people man, it's amazing. Maximum damage, done. I found a way to get gold and time cubes from those butterflies. Really, how? Bring them to zone 100 and I'll show you. Okay, defeat zone 99. Excellent. Now, I'm yet to actually use any of my abilities, so I might actually use them now. Oh, God, I got hit. Are you serious? That's not good. I actually got smacked then, everyone. Game's not playing around, bro. Where's the healing bay? Here's the healing station. Nice. I might just camp in the healing station all day. I'd be like a turret myself. A rocket turret. <laughs> Look at this. I'm going to stay here all day. I'm just going to upgrade my click gun as soon as possible here. Just try and boost it as much as I can as well. As you can see, guys, our main weapon here is the rocket launcher. I've just upgraded the fire rate a whole bunch. The click weapon is dealing a huge amount of damage right now. Uh, pretty much dominating everything on the screen, which is awesome to see. As you see, just chilling there on the bike casually, living the high life. <laughs> Off Kenzie goes in that bike again. I might just hop on my bike as well. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Why am I back here? No, it's done this way. Silly game. So pretty much I'm like a moving fortress right now in my bike. Simple as that, dude. Except the thing amount of ammo constantly, that's not good. What I do like though is that you can actually upgrade your weapon while on the bike. That's pretty sweet. Upgrade my turret a huge amount there. Upgrade my drone a huge amount. Pretty much chucking upgrades all around there. Seems to be the easiest option. Just hopped out my bike, by the way. Help old mate Kenzie out. Wait, can we go to the next zone already? Yes, we can. Kenzie's already here waiting. <laughs> Jeez. Just jumping in the middle of the mobs as you casually do in this game. Constantly rocket jumping. Constantly jumping around trying not to get hit by any mobs either. Gotta love it. The reason why I jump in the middle of the mobs is because with the rocket launcher, you obviously get that splash damage effect. And splash damage kicks major ass in this game. Especially when upgraded as well. You just gotta have the right perks for the weapon. Oh, got hit. Sorry. I <laughs> just got smacked out. Holy crap, dude. I'm like a rocket ship. Oh my god, how high in the sky am I? <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Christ, did you guys see that? I just kept jumping and jumping and jumping until I made it on the top of the map. Wow, that was awesome. I love this game, dude. So fun. So, so fun. That massive charger is blocking the moon teleporter. I'm on it. Here we go. This is it, guys. Time cubes. I'll take those time cubes, game. Cheers. What about the butterflies? Can I grab them as well? No. Defeat end planet boss. Okay. Let's do it. Do I have enough damage to take this guy down? Well, let's find out. And the boss is dead instantly. What the hell? A crew just came through and killed it. Um, okay. <laughs> a crew just came through and killed it at the exact time I was going to kill it. Holy crap, what just happened, dude? Like, that was unbelievable. <laughs> I've just jumped through to 100. Had some help. Two bikes came through at perfect time. That was great. I don't even know where I am right now. I might be in some trouble, theoretically. Is old mate Kenzie around here? No, I don't think Kenzie is. Well, I'm currently on the lunar base on my own, guys. Uh, I might have jumped the gun on this one. Apparently Kenzie's at the end of the map, but where? No, definitely not. Did you want to try teleporting to the moon? Ah, oh, far out. Now Kenzie has joined us on the moon. Actually got some out. Oh, far out. <laughs> and I fell off. <laughs> I was about to say, Kenzie just joined us on the moon. I've just jumped straight off the map. Beautiful. All right, everyone. Well, look, either way, thank you very much for tuning in to today's episode of Game with Vince. Uh, this has been an episode of Time Warpers. We will be back with Time Warpers again in the next couple of days. In the meantime, be sure to check out the game. Uh, social media links are also in the description below. And yeah, just remember to please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed and leave a comment uh, with the answers for what I asked you earlier on, okay? Thank you very much again. I'll see you all tomorrow for next Gaming with Vince. See you around, everyone. And cheers to Kenzie for playing with me today. Great person. Cheers again. <laughs> See you around, everyone.